Like, we're jumping straight into it, but like, what did sort of lead to your decision to take performance and hard to Well, basically, like, competing was always on the card, so competed. 2021 as a natural and then big off season 2022 and competed again in 2023 and the first season I really enjoyed it I knew it's what I wanted to do but I wanted to kind of affirm that I could do it twice it wasn't a fluke and I could put my everything into it indefinitely so basically the end goal requires performance enhancing drugs so it's kind of like a necessary evil the goal won't be achieved without it so as I came out of juniors that was kind of the right call for me to make the jump and I spoke to my coach and said is there like a chance that I will turn pro and he said like there is a high chance and therefore that was like my decision to take that jump if he thought like it's not a possibility then I simply wouldn't have jumped onto so performance enhancing like drugs. Steroids is a must in it depends what degree you want to get to and what you want to achieve like you can achieve pro cards naturally um, but there's some certain like pro cards that probably won't be achieved without the use of them. For example, like an IFBB pro card, you can go down a route to get it naturally, but it's a lot more rare to get it that way. So for you to actually achieve that, it is kind of something that, that has to be to be done in, in essence. So is that, is that the only reason for your decision or was it anything to do with like, body dysmorphia? Was you at all unhappy before with your body at all? I wouldn't say I was unhappy with my physique because like, what I could display on stage as a natural and the physique I could have in the off-season before competing as a natural was something I, I did like and uh, I was happy with it. But to just get to the level that I, need, I want to be competing at, uh, it's just not going to be achieved naturally. Maybe in the long run it could be achieved naturally, but there is a bit of a time limit on it in terms of getting that pro card and then competing as a pro. Now, does social media take a massive effect on your decision at all? Like seeing your, you know, other models out there or bodybuilders, for example, that you, that you look inspired to, you see that they take this? I would say yes and yes and no, because, like, realistically, you go on social media, you are seeing some physiques that are incredible, that are not naturally attainable, and that might make some people feel maybe somewhat inferior, somewhat not, not good enough. Um, but for me, that's not really what played a part in it for me. So despite you taking this, have you at all considered like the flip side, the long-term health risk of taking yeah. steroids? Yeah, that's why, to be clear, there's not a safe way to do this, ever. Like, there is a safer way to do it, and by following my coach, someone that's been there and done it and knows exactly how to do this in the best way possible, taking all health precautions into account. Um, but yeah, in reality, like, this is unhealthy, and I know what the health complications are, and that's just think where I've had to weigh up whether the risk is worth the reward, and to me, it hopefully will be, and I'm, I'm come to terms with those health complications. So having balanced it out before you were taking a decision, would you say that the risks are already outweighing, uh, the, sorry, the rewards already were outweighing the risks? I wouldn't say already. I would say that's, it's too, it's way too early to, to know, basically. The only way that, you know, the reward is actually going to be there is if it translates over to me achieving a pro card and achieving what I want to achieve in bodybuilding. Um, and also, I, I don't, you can't, you know, estimate what health repercussions you may have down the line. So it's not something you can really say for certain right now, whether it will be worth it. But to me, it's worth trying, essentially. That's, that's what I mean. So if you were to speak to somebody that um, a young chap is up, adult who was getting a gym cycle and look a certain way, would you recommend steroids? Absolutely not. Um, I've been doing this a long time, over half a decade, and um, I could have easily jumped in the gym and jumped on them straight away, but you don't build a base physique there. You don't know, basically it's like a cherry on top. Like, you need to know how to train properly, how to eat properly, how to recover, and all of this is not going to come overnight. It's going to take time. It's going to take years, in fact. So this was the to the point where I was like, right, I'm doing absolutely everything I can to a very good degree. This is just that little bit extra that I need to get where I need to go. Um, so if someone's stepping into the gym initially, the first thing you should do is get a coach, get taught how to do everything properly. And in my opinion, if you're, if you're not going to compete, 
performance enhancing drugs shouldn't even cross your mind and even if you do want to compete you need to do some seasons as a natural first to know you can even put the work in properly. And just lastly, I know that it's your decision, it's your body, you can do what you want to do with it. But um, when you took that decision to take steroids, is there anything, how did your family, family react? So, my friends probably just knew it was coming. And um, to be fair, I haven't told my parents yet. Um, that is something that, because I know they're not going to understand why I'm doing it and that I'm, I'm educated on the fact of what what I can do, the precautions I'm taking to mitigate any side effects. Um, but my friends just knew that this is a, a necessary evil essentially to get where I need to be. Well, thank you so much for your honesty, well, I appreciate it. No yeah. worries.